excited to show you a demo now of Zapier MCP. And I'm gonna start with one of my favorite use cases and walk you through just how to get started and see just how easy it is. So the first thing you do is you're gonna to go to mcp.zapier.com. Uh, pretty straightforward there so far. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create your own MCP server. So the way that this works is you can create multiple MCP servers in Zapier's MCP, and each of these allows you to link it to a specific client. This is the end application that you're gonna be using all of your Zapier searches and actions in. And we give you some ones that, and some instructions on how to use the common ones today, um, or you can choose other uh, to get a whole bunch of other options. But let's say you're doing the Claude MCP, right? That's what we're here for. So in this case, you now just add your tools and adding tools is extremely easy. You can see I have four different tools already supported in my Claude MCP. And let's say now I wanna give the ability to do some enrichment. And in this case, I might look up our friends at ZoomInfo, right? And maybe I wanna allow it to enrich a contact or search for additional contacts, all of those things. And so for here, all you need to do is click that action. Uh, if you have an authentication, it's gonna use it. If you, need an, if you need to add an authentication for that app, you're gonna be able to do it. And you can set specific permissions on each of these actions. So if you look at this find contact one for HubSpot, you'll see that the way I've done this is I want it to only be guessing email addresses, right? I want it to always be searching via email. And the reason is I found one of the Claude use cases with Zapier MCP that's really valuable is actually helping me prepare for my day and research who I'm meeting with. So you can see here a fake calendar for the day of who I'm meeting with. I have this, I'm pretending to be uh, the, the Zap Zapler marketing agency. And you, know, you can see I have an upcoming meeting with some folks from Zapier to discuss our marketing strategy. Well, when I go to Claude, the way that we're gonna connect this first is you've got everything you want ready to go. You go to the connect tab and there's gonna be some really straightforward instructions on how to add this into Claude. And it's as simple as copying the URL that's here and when you go to Claude, you're gonna see that on the integrations tab for add more, uh, you do this, you could paste the URL, give it a name, and then save it. Um, I'll make a note currently with Claude, this is available for uh, team, enterprise, and max plans. So if you're on a pro or free account, I think they're still waiting to roll out access there. And you do wanna be setting this up in Claude.ai in a browser session. Uh, it'll then work in desktop, but you want to set it, first set it up in the browser. So once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and go to a new chat, and you'll see that in the search and tools option, there's now something for Zapier. The first time you do this, you'll have to connect with OAuth to, to create a connection between Zapier, MCP, and Claude. And once you do that, though, you'll see all of the action you've enabled in your Claude uh, for in Claude from Zapier. And so for here, you can see all the different things that I've got. But let's start getting it to do things for us, right? Let's ask it, um, who am I meeting with from Zapier? And it has a number of actions, including searching my calendar, so that should be, there we go. That's the one it's going to be using here. And you can see kind of like what it's going to be guessing there and how it's going to do that. And it should come back here with uh, who I'm meeting with, and it picked up correctly. I'm meeting with Matt and Wade uh, to do that. But now let's ask them to, um, I don't know, like help me look up information about Matt and Wade to help me prepare. There we go. And now it has a whole bunch of actions that it could choose, including built-in ones like searching the web as it's gonna start with. Uh, let's see what it decides to do next. There we go. So we've searched the web for Wade and Matt, but now we're starting to do Zapier MCP actions, including enriching the contact from ZoomInfo. Um, so now we're gonna get much more detail on Wade in particular here. Uh, so let's see what the ZoomInfo MCP action comes back to. Um, 
Let's see, it included, it looks like it included a whole bunch of information on Wade, which is great. And it's gonna do the same thing here for Matt. And what I love about this, I personally, again, I found this type of workflow to really help me prepare for my day um, because I could just get it to give me such detailed information, look up more details about the company, be like, hey, I plan on talking about this. Is there anything recent about this that the company's posted about? Um, and you can see it gives me like a great thing. I could even share this now. I could say like, you know, share this with my sales team. And let's go see how this works here. All right. Oh, I probably should have told it to share it somewhere. Um, I'm going to first double check here. And this is a good way to double check how things are working here. We're doing this uh, together. Uh, I do have it, the ability to send a Slack channel message. And so it's creating a whole document on this, which is kind of awesome. Um, and let's go see if, yeah. Can you send it to my sales team in Slack? Let's see here. There you go. And it's gonna write out, this might take a little while. I probably should have gone with a shorter request because <laughs> this could take a little while um, because it's gonna write out some details here. But there you go. So you can see here that it's going to send a Slack channel message. And one of the cool things with Zapier MCP is that, as you can see here, Claude just guessed like sales team. But if you actually look, oh, it already finished, which is cool. Uh, team sales is the actual channel. So it figures out what you intend to mean by that, which I really appreciate. It makes, you know, having to do things here a lot easier uh, for do that. And there you go. So it included some details uh, for that. Probably could have done a little bit of a better job, uh, but I probably could have been more clear on like how much detail to actually send it. Uh, but that's a little bit about how that workflow has been working really well for me. I find in particular just getting it to research people. Uh, again, I can give this thing the ability to search for HubSpots. I could have even checked recent uh, conversations with that individual from our CRM. And I love this. Um, I've found it again to be incredibly valuable. But let's switch gears to talk a little bit about a developer workflow. And you'll see Zapier MCP not only supports uh, looking at things like, you know, Claude, but also other popular MCP clients like Cursor. And in this example, let's say I'm a developer here working away on something and I've given Cursor the ability to basically help me manage Jira. He's like, I want to help do things more in Cursor and not have to go to Jira directly. And in particular, I want it to help me look up issues, update those issues and add comments to those issues. So let's hop on over uh, here to Cursor. And as you can see here, uh, we've got our MCP set up for Cursor. I should quickly show that if you're looking to do that, the way that you're gonna do for Cursor is again, you just go to that connect tab and you can see here that there are instructions for Cursor. And this one is really straightforward because you just copy this. And when you're back in cursor here, you're going to go to your MCP file and just paste in exactly what you got from Zapier. Let's give this a refresh to wake it up. And here we go that we've got our, you can see the tools that we've enabled here uh, for this, including, um, what did I give it? Oh yeah, the ability to do all those Jira issues. Let's say now we're working in a file, right? You know, we're using this file as context. This file uh, is essentially like a Zapier integration for Anthropic actually. Uh, so let's just say that I want to now update this, right? So let's say find the issue dealing with uh, the Zapier integration. Let's keep it pretty broad. Um, and Cursor here will again ask you to confirm like what you're doing. And so it's searching for a Zapier integration ticket. And you can see here in Jira, I created a couple test ones and I've got this like create a Zapier integration one and a couple of other ones uh, floating around in here. Um, but now uh, back in Cursor, uh, what this is gonna be doing is it's again calling out to Zapier uh, for the, yeah, it did use the find issue action that it's going to be doing and it'll reply with like the information for that Jira issue. 
While this is going, I'll show one thing over here in Zapier MCP, which is you can actually see the history of all of your actions and tools as well. So if you go into your server and go to history, you can see all of the executions that it's done uh, for the enriched contact one steps that we were doing before. Uh, you can see that you know it looked up. This this is the information it's sent over to look up, and here is the output that came from it. So great way to, if you're looking to debug or figure out what's going on there, uh, history view is going to be your friend. All right, this is still going here. Let's try to refresh this. I may have waited too long to get it to go uh, for that. So let's try. Let's try asking it one more time. And let's run the tool. And here we go. Looks like it's doing, ah, there we go. That time it seemed to have gone much faster. Um, there you go, I found the issue that's gonna do a, which is currently in parking lot status. The describe creating this app, I'd like to find more detail. Uh, I don't need more detail about that, that's okay. I actually want to, can you help me update? Uh, or like, actually let's do, help me add a comment to that issue about the code I've written. <laughs> that's, that's a bit of a weirdly worded one, uh, but let's go ahead and tell it that's what we want to do here. All right, so it's deciding to compose a comment that summarizes the work we've done. Let's see what it tells me. That integrates with Mapper Flow API. Yep, yeah, that is correct. All right, let's see what it does. Again, I can show you kind of what that file is over here. Um, all right, it says it commented. Let's go check. Let's go over here, create a Zapier integration. Oh, there is a comment just now. There you go. So I've updated this, or I've added a comment to this one. Um, and of course I could go back here and ask it to like update the status of that ticket and do all the other Jira actions that I've enabled in that particular MCP. All right, well, I hope that gives you a good understanding of you know, using Zapier MCP for uh, two different clients, for both Claude and for Cursor. Uh, I've found this to be just so much fun to play with and it's been really valuable. I think for me, honestly, that calendar and looking up and searching our CRM style one has been actually quite useful and I've been really impressed with how much I've wanted to keep coming back to using it. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what y'all get up to and answering some questions here.